Alright, what's going on boys? Today we're the real South Dakota men and we're going to be going out for Shut up. fishing out behind Dimitri's house. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the Real South Dakota Men YouTube channel. We're here in Club's basement, we're getting stuff ready. Today, we're doing a carp catch clean cook. Stay tuned. Okay boys, we gotta go get the bows and such, and then we're heading out. My name is Cleveland Joe. Okay, we gotta go to, we're going to Nick's house to get his bow. Nick, we promise your bow will be back in pristine condition. If not, I promise we'll fix it. It'll be, it'll be mint. <laughs> wow, we had all the objects inside. Shout out to last video. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. Bye, Pepper. Hey, boys. Catch you when we're at my house. this. These and my bow. Is that there for now? What's he doing? Give me these. You're gonna need this. Bye-bye. Come on, Domino's. <laughs> hey, everybody, ah. let's go. We're gonna put hey, some boys, coals never really in explain the concept of what we're doing. We're each gonna get a carp that we think is the most premiumest, and then we're each going to cook it in our own fashion, and we're going to see whose turns out the bestest. So that's the plan. We'll come back to you guys when we reach Meech's house. All right, boys, we're at Meech's house, and the backyard is looking as Boy. full as ever. It's kind of windy. Hopefully, this wind filter will do its job. But so we're gonna sauce on the waders and then head out. All right, boys, we are Mick ready to go. Oh, I see him. Yeah, there he is. Got him. Stoned him. Oh, he's a big one, too. Nice, nice. This one will be a good eater. Oh, he's a big old buffler straight through his freaking skull. Good stuff, shop. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Frick yeah, boys. Domed him. Domed him. I just saw him just... Missing some scales there. Yeah, he's a fighter. <laughs> All these vicious teeth they have. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff, okay. good stuff. I'm gonna go deposit him here. Let's go get a few more. Alright, Club, your turn. Can you see him? No, I can't see him yet. He's coming right for me, though. I can see his ripples. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Get him. What the heck? That's what not it? a carp. Spotted. That's a freaking gar, probably. Oh, it is a gar. Did you get you him? Missed. No, I went over him. First shot I took at him. Ooh. There Got you him. go. Way to go. Maybe. I hit him. You at least scared him. I, I, I honestly I think you might have missed. No, I 100% hit him. Oh, you oh. got him. Oh, yeah, you got him. Good job. But in the tail, probably. Yeah. Ooh, Look at that small, boy. That's a gar. Yeah, see, I told you I hit him. Gar skis. I hit him twice. Cool. Before I killed him. All right, bring him over here. Let's put him in the bucket. You can hold the arrow better. Look at that boy. Got him. That's cool. Don't grab him by like He's freaking distended. Look at his belly. It's like yeah. caved in. Very deep on the other side of this. So. Sick. Just a heads up. Sick natty. Some ripples there. Let's see. All 
Alright, carp. Show thine selves. Oh, I see him, Meech. Chip shot. You know I'd probably miss it. There's one way out there. There should be one somewhere in right here. Out there. Give us an update. The hard part about today is they have so much more area to go in, you know what I mean? It's oh, oh. oh, an absolute toad. Got him, boys. Ooh. Yup. Absolute fucking toad. Holy nut, that is a big one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this, Look guys. Look at this unit! That's a new PR right there, shop. PB, let's go. High five, close. That was terrible. I was trying to do it through the camera. It doesn't work. <laughs> Hold it up a second. Like, pull it out of the water quick. Did it go even all the way through? Oh my gosh! <laughs> How much? How much do you think it weighs? 40? 20. 20, oh, okay. It's my boot for comparison. Here, do you want me to hold your bow for a second? Yeah. Hold that. Oh. BB, boys. Oh. So freaking big. Nothing but hogs today. Yeah, he ain't fitting in the bucket. I've got another one. I'll show it to you. Hey guys, we have a little update. We had some nice gentlemen come over and congratulate us on our, our car nice, hunting endeavors. Nice hits here. This is got two close. toads. This one's mine, this one's shop. We got three toads ready for the fryer. So. Oh yeah. Each of us get one toad. It's getting it. Oh Josh. We have the strongest man carrying these. So much freaking weight. All right, guys, we're heading back to Meech's with our catch. We're gonna go cook them up. We're just gonna clean these like we clean every other fish, pretty much. Nothing really special. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. If you get to a scale, it cuts fine. Yeah, what weight do you think this thing is? At least an easy 20. Easy 20? What holds the best? Yeah, no, Dude, whole 11's got <laughs> <laughs> they just let you on there? We snuck on from Meech's house. He lives like right by the golf course. Yeah, the golfers don't care. They literally like came over and took a picture with us like on the course. That one was like right... Like, this right one was, right no, this one was on the course. No, that one wasn't. No, that one was. This one was. You get like yeah. B-roll of this thing. I feel like a lot of rich people stuff isn't good. It's just rich people oh, stuff. It's just because it costs a lot. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. This was actually taken from the last salmon on Earth. <laughs> Cost a thousand dollars a gram. Don't, don't be the cleaning station chotch. That is the technical term. Alright, see you boys. Alright boys, we're heading back to Collabs. We gotta find a place to kinda of dump these. So, we have the carp, we've kinda, of, we've skinned them, we've washed them, trying to get more of that blood out. Not more them. Like, we're not skinning them, we filleted them. <laughs> They're back there. We kind of have, we're gonna try to do these a variety of ways. We're gonna try these, but we're gonna try these about three different ways. See if we can make any of them taste good. This is Papa Shop, rolling in. Here you go, sir. Oh, that's a gun. <laughs> okay, Shop, what's going on here? They're scaling them, because we kind of forgot to do that. All right, here we are in the alley, scaling the carbs. Get it done. Already scaled quite a few. Yep. There you go, Shop. Shop's got it down now. Let's go ham -ski. Don't chop pull up stingers, though. <laughs> Dang, that was fast.
Okay boys, we're gonna try these a bunch of different ways. So, first, first things first, got salt, black pepper, butter, and onions. So I'm gonna go grab my knife quick. Not much butter. Grab ourselves an onion. Well, that is very ineffective. There we go. Okay. Burns your nose. Put some Mac core mix. And then dice that that goes again in the smaller cubes and just kind of layer it on there. You want it to be able, as it melts, you want it to spread across the dish. So now we're just going to layer some butter on this. I might put some more butter. That looks really good. But yeah, honestly. We'll right. see. So that is, that is the first fillet. And we, we kind of rounded up this tin foil deal so that it kind of so it contains all the juices. <laughs> all right. Won the last tournament. What was the last chef Burgers. tournament? I put those in the grill now because I think the fire's out finally. It's on medium heat. So you guys are going to put those in and when you close the lid, those will go out. Grill, medium heat, put these on. How long would you say? Medio? Well, the big thing is you want to cook it until they crack when you push your finger into them. So I would check them, I would check them starting in about 20 minutes. Um, what I do, so when I'm doing it, is I would lay those on that flat top cookie sheet and make it on there and then you would slide it in like a pizza peel. All right, Chef Meech. What should I put on there? What is your, what is your strategy what, gonna What be? should we try? What really goes well on a lot of fish is dill. Salt, pepper, and dill would actually be quite good. Your dill seed. I don't think that's the same thing. And pepper. All right, guys, we got some dill seed in here. So we got our mortar and pestle. Sure. No. Any ice cream scoop and a bowl. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, if you stand over here and you smell that, it yeah. smells pretty it dang good. It smells good. Hi, Mia Heisinger has just arrived. Good seeing you. Welcome it's... to the uh, Carp Fest 2019. This could be an annual event, Jamie. Well, let's not get in on this. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. In close. Pop it. If you don't want to. So, let's well, see so, when you would, mine, so when you're checking your fish to see if it's done, what you want to do is you want to press to make sure that the flake comes apart. So press and pull a little bit where the flake is. If it comes apart, no, it's not. done. If it doesn't come apart, it's not done. Like this? Oh, so close. It should break open yet though. It's not quite done. Yeah. If you open this up and those flakes are already flayed apart, that you're means screwed. that fish is overdone and it's starting to dry out. That's why so many people, when they grill fish, it doesn't taste good because they're so afraid to get food poisoning. They overcook the snot out of it. Yep. So this is kind of what my dad was talking about. You kind of press down with the fork, see how it, see how it breaks open like that. That's perfect. Throw this back on there. So this one is ready to come off. We'll test Caleb's here. See how his is doing. What that is that done? Yeah, yeah. It kind of feels like it could use a little bit more. Give Caleb another couple no, minutes. I know. Just bring it up closer. Just yeah. so. So these are big, see the big flakes? If you flake between those, you just want to get a piece. Not bad. Tastes like fish. Tastes like, yeah. tastes Honestly, like fish and the seasoning that we put on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd eat it. Nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my, I mean, well, it's better, but bad. Biggest skeptic of all, Jamie Heisinger is digging in. Just make sure you don't get a bone to stab you through the roof of the mouth, because the bones are all right in through here. Yeah. So this has onion, salt, and pepper on it. Onion, salt, pepper, butter. I'm not that. No. It's not as dense as a walleye, you know. That no, I was kind of hoping for it to be a bit denser. If you were sitting on a dock at a marina <laughs> and bringing these babies out, that actually looks pretty good. Not a lot. Going in for it. Jamie, do you pork? Ooh, the pork's still here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not sure. This one smells fishier, not gonna lie. One of the things is I think. Wait, 
way more bland than that mm -hmm. one. Not gonna lie. Or it butter. needs more salt. Yeah, that, this one, one, that one's bland. Watch this. Hold on, Caleb can spice up. Flavor is still very good. It's not fishy at all. It's yeah, just, right, right, it's right just there. very bland. Oh, we're not saying it's not good, we're just saying there's not enough salt on it. I mean, if it was... Is that a little bit better? If you were hungry, I guarantee you'd be sleeping that right up. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. There's not a thing in the world wrong with that fish. Mm -hmm. Alright, I gotta try yours now, Club. Going to retrieve the last carp oh, fillet. Oh, Alright, Nietzsche, give us the first bite. This is Misha's fish. Mm-hmm. The one that Meech has prepared. Alright. Mm. How is it? Need more stuff. No more salt? Mm -hmm. There's not like a fishy taste, there's not a muddy taste. It's like it's, it tastes it, like a just, standard it's just white material fish. material in mm -hmm. your mouth. It much. is. There's um this one, it just you can't pick up the dill. I wish we would have had dill weed because that would have really picked up a lot better. Yeah. Better. I think butter is definitely the way to go over olive oil, not gonna mm -hmm. lie. Well, you get the saltiness to it. Yeah. That's, there's nothing wrong with that at all, other than the bones. And these three fish, I mean, we were sitting here eating until we're full. Okay, out of 10. I would eat that again in a heartbeat. Yeah. But, you know, coming from a walleye snob standpoint, you, you know, you go into this thinking, ah, that's a trash fish, but there's nothing wrong with that meat. And that's a, easily a six or seven, even with a bad attitude. Yeah. And so, yeah. If you gave that to somebody and said, "This is fish," didn't this say, "This is fish," and you had it all, all the bones picked out and said, "Hey, we we grilled up these fish," people would slurp that down in a minute. Absolutely, you would. And the funny thing about it is, um, is the way that it, it is. The fish is very red when you cook it, just like tuna, and it, or when you fillet it, it's red, and then when you grill it, it turns white. Um, which is what would you give it? Doug? I mean, it's pretty much a tuna. I'm I'm a I would I would rate that. I mean, if you did not have bones in that, I would eat that the same as walleye or white bass or any other white fish. Um, the bones are the only drawback to it, and you've just got to be careful because the flakes are very big. But it, it's, I'm with Jamie, it's easy, a, a six or seven fish. It's very tasty. Caleb? Uh, I'd give it a six. Meech? Yeah, seven. All right, I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven as well. So, with, with that, we're on the episode. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Real South Dakota Men. And... We'll give this episode a like, remember to subscribe, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. I was talking about my insole earlier. It's right here. That should be in there. <laughs>